Headlock. You gotta believe this one's over. And look at Fro. We may be looking at a power bomb here. That's exactly what it looks like to me, Cole. Looks like a power bomb coming up. There may be no escaping this one, Cole. The stop in the leg. Just nasty. Headlock. Oh, and cheap shot right above the eye. Delicious power slam. Back in from the apron. A handicap match is the type of match where a superstar or superstars square off against respected opponents, and one side has a numerical advantage against the other. This could be a singles match or a tag team match, and as we've seen through history, can include any amount of superstars. Talk about a game of roulette. Handicap matches have been part of the WWE for decades. The superstar who's seen the most handicap matches out of anyone is the iconic eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Andre took on teams of two, three, and four men at a time. The Giants' opponents could be in the ring at the same time, or one man is in the ring and the team members are on the ring apron, similar to the traditional tag team contest. Handicap matches are some of the most unpredictable matches in sports entertainment. The great Andre the Giant traveled the world and defeated teams in all numbers. In the ultimate show of dominance, Andre would stack his fallen opponents on top of one another and pin them all at once. The WWE has many defined eras and athletes who were the face of the company during that time. Red Hart during the new generation, Steve Austin in the Attitude Era. The current era, however, is all John Cena's. He truly is the face of this company. technique. Michael, you call John Cena the face of the WWE, and I don't think anyone can doubt that. He's got a record number of world titles and has main evented some of the biggest WrestleManias in history. Yeah, some people love him, some people hate him, but you cannot discount how John Cena has defined the WWE over the last decade and a half. When he hangs up those jean shorts for good, it makes a strong case for the greatest of all time. Oh, no! Sunset bomb! Wow! Guys, it's no secret that Brock Lesnar is not well received in the locker room. He comes in and out when he wants and holds special tripping move coming. Wait for it. Is he done? He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. As Michael mentioned, Brock Lesnar is perceived as Vince's boy in the locker room. But the thing is, Brock doesn't care about a single superstar in the back. A message he wanted to make clear with his destruction of Roman Reigns. Now look, Lesnar does take full advantage of his lighter schedule, but that's never stopped him from making statements like he did at WrestleMania 34 when he battered Roman Reigns into a pulp. He's a beast, not one of the boys in the back. That's how you stop your opponent. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some attitude behind it. What a clothesline! Ouch! Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. Oh, the reversal by John Cena. Scoop slam! Throughout WWE's more than 54-year history, there's one superstar who raises their game even higher in a handicap match. It's the superstar with the motto, one versus all, and that's the big dog, Roman Reigns. On the February 20th, 2017 episode of Monday Night Raw, we saw Reigns accept the handicap match against the Raw Tag Team Champions, Anderson and Gallows. From behind, 
That night on Raw, Roman Reigns was determined to take down Anderson and Gallows. What I found more impressive than taking Anderson and Gallows on was that Reigns did so right before he squared off against Braun Strowman at Fastlane. The big dog never rests. Roman Reigns is happy to take on anyone who thinks the WWE ring is their yard. Look, I'll never dismiss the power, determination, and ability of Roman Reigns. I've been in the ring with the man. The match ended because Roman took it upon himself to attack Anderson and Gallows with a steel chair, which in my mind was done without just cause and is something I don't condone. John Cena is just so electric. Half Nelson applied. Neckbreaker! gets taken out. What's he made of? Paper mache? In 2017, the WWE Universe saw the immeasurable power of Braun Strowman unleashed in handicap matches. The monster among men annihilated teams of two, three, and four men and made it look so easy it's almost difficult to comprehend. On the February 6th episode of Monday Night Raw, the Leviathan Braun Strowman absolutely destroyed four local competitors and made it look like child's play. Corey, I remember when we called the action that night on Raw and Braun Strowman was simply unstoppable. The easiest way to put it is that Braun Strowman doesn't care if he's in the ring against local competitors or WWE superstars because Braun Strowman just wants to tear people apart. There aren't many individuals who are just as dominant in handicap matches as they are in traditional singles matchups. But we saw in that match from Braun Strowman. There you go, Cole. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game they're on. Oh no! There's a pin now, no matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we got a cover. And he kicks out. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. And look at the quickness by Cena. Oh boy, he is rolling. I don't think you have to possess a genius IQ to know that if you're John Cena's opponent, you can't fall victim to the man's incredible power. I'd imagine you have to feel helpless heading into a match like this when you're on the wrong end of the numbers game. Too quick for him there. Corey, many opponents have tried to stay away from the immense power of John Cena and have failed. When the superstar becomes entangled in Cena's cannon-like arms, it's all over. Now, there are a lot of things a superstar has to watch out for when locking up with John Cena. But if you don't find a way to stay away or neutralize Cena's power, you're not going to last long. We've seen handicap matches throughout WWE history that can display someone's incredible ability. And we've seen the handicap match be utilized to deliberately put someone in less than advantageous situation. Either way, handicap matches are something that a superstar must be ready for no matter what side of the numbers game they're on. No matter what era of WWE history we look at, or if we're talking about present day, the handicap match can be dangerous for all competitors evolved. And if you're a superstar who's outnumbered, you have to be extra careful about ending up on the losing end of things. A beating could stop and ever end depending on how the odds shake out. That's very true, Michael. With that being said, though, just because a superstar is on the side that has the numbers advantage, history's also shown us that it's important to stay focused on the mission at hand and take care of business rather than to get cocky because you have more people on your side of the ring. John Cena is perhaps the most dominant competitor in WWE history. Is there any strategy that can work against Big Match John? When you compete at the level that Cena has, for as long as he has, injuries pop up. Nothing chronic, but he's definitely got a few target areas that an opponent should look out for. Oh, and a 
terrific reversal by Triple H. We discussed John Cena's injuries earlier. And Byron, I'm wondering, how would you target them? Well, I'm too honorable personally to attack injuries, but if I was meaner, I'd stop the tricep tour against Daniel Bryan at summer. Here we go. John Cena's attitude adjustment. Wow, that was incredible. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Looks to me like these superstars are running on fumes right about now. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Oh, what impact. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Ooh, that hurt. A sharp one right through the cheekbone. point on the end of a match, guys. He's going to the pin. This could be it. End to the pay window. This has been a battle. Doing a great job of turning that around. Sure, close line. Goldberg just barely got out of the way. If I'm being honest, guys, I thought this match would have been over a long time ago. There's no stopping this six foot four, 285 pounder. He's a powerhouse of the likes we've never seen before. And very well. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Looking for the exclamation point. And look at the quickness by Cena. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. Dominating shoulder tackle. And it appears 
Goldberg is starting to hit the wall physically now. This could be the end. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. He's always had great stamina. See if it lasts here. Nasty drop. John Cena's looking to fly. This is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely not. He's going for it all. Just tossed. She get airline miles for that. Trust me, if you're a WWE superstar, this is not where you want to be. No way. Right in the mouth. Relax. I can't believe what we're seeing here, guys. By oh. Just a crushing blow from Goldberg. Well, John Cena's in a real bad seat. You've got to believe this one's over. I don't know. Is that enough to stop Cena? Look out. He's not messing around. Oh, boy. He is rolling. Goldberg is looking at this right now. Well, I think a lot of people saw this handicap match going a lot differently, myself included. I don't know how these superstars are doing it right now. They've got to be exhausted. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. When this guy's on, look out. Goldberg engaging in some psychological warfare right here. Not the oh, no, what impact. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. into an energy source and he's going strong. He got there with a spear! That might have done it, Cole. I want to see that again. Yeah, you and me both. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Here is Goldberg in position now. Goldberg setting him up. Here it comes, Byron. We're going to see it. We're going to see it. We're going to see the jackhammer. This is his opportunity to win this thing. the cover. Wow. Axe handle finds its target. This might be it. Oh, my. Better watch out. Goldberg is fired up now. If I was Brock, I would quit messing around with people's minds and start messing with his opponent's body instead. That's how you wear down your opponent. Uh -oh. oh my goodness, crushing it! Goldberg is looking golden right now. Strong oh. kick. My goodness. Well, Goldberg with a spear! But he's running on a pen. Will this be it? Two! for a kick out. Well, John Cena has the pride of a champion and he always finds a way to dig deep. Irish whip. There's a tag. 
Opponent off the ropes. Oh, man, that hurt the backs. Submission time. Is he done? Some WWE fan. He somehow frees himself from the hold. I guess it's going to take more than that to put him away here tonight. He wants to do this in the ring. Suplex. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Shoulder tackle. John Cena plays mind games as good as anybody. Technique. He might have it. Well, I think a lot of moves. Are we looking at yet an here's a cover? Got a harsh impact. And Cena pops the shoulder up. Oh wow. more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart. Triple H setting it up. The spine buster! Here's his moment, Michael. Hopefully John Cena can recover. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. And look at the quickness by Cena. He's definitely starting to lose it here. I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. He's always had great stamina. See if it lasts here. Shoulder tackle. Ooh, John Cena may have it. Oh my goodness, this hurts. Oh! Warm up the bus. This one is over. Look out, John Cena is measuring. His shoulders are down. Two. Shoulder tackle. John Cena is measuring. Yeah, if he hits this, the match is over. Other than myself, I don't think too many people saw this handicap match going this long. And the ref goes down. We need a new ref out here, fast. He got that with his face, but now Triple H is bleeding. Suplex! Oh, and a terrific reversal by Triple H. What a brutal beating we've seen dished out so far here tonight. 
Oh! Right to the back. This is the Cena that's just about unstoppable. He looks for it once again. Got it cinched in! The STF is cinched in! Are we looking at yet another John Cena victory here? Yeah, but can John Cena take advantage now? He's looking at it. Harsh impact. The game getting absolutely punished right now. absorbing punishment like that. Hurricane Rana! What a Hurricane Rana! Gets out of the way of that one. Hurricane Rana! Hurricane Rana! might be needed to overcome this beating. Oof! Nailed it! At some point, the referee may want to think about stopping this one before somebody gets seriously injured. These superstars have tried everything. They have something that great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. He's making a statement here with this attack. Wow, Goldberg sure knows how to get into his opponent's head. Quick thinking to avoid that one. Look at the eyes of John Cena. The expression on his face here is very clear. out here, especially when there are no count outs. He gets it with a reversal. I can't believe everything that's transpired this far. It's been so physical. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. No, he reverses it. Boom! <laughs> he always had great stamina. See if it lasts here.
Not surprisingly, this handicap match is playing out exactly how I thought it would. Slam down hard. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. I think a lot of people saw this handicap match going a lot differently, myself included. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Half Nelson applied. Neck breaker! Oh boy, Byron, it's time for your favorite thing. I'm ready, Corey, are you? Are you ready for the five knuckle shuffle? Boom! The game getting absolutely punished right now. Other than myself, I don't think too many people saw this handicap match going this long. Big slam. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Oh boy, he is rolling. Oh boy, he is rolling. He wants it one more time. What a spine buster by the game. That has got to be it. Authority. I think I felt the ground shake on that one. Look at Triple H stalking him. Oh, caught him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No way. Pedigree. It should be. He's going for the pin. One. Two. A kick out. And you can see the frustration starting to build. Big match John is not going to go down that easily. Oh, nasty impact. Not surprisingly, this handicap match is playing out exactly how I thought it would. And the slam! When this guy's on, look out. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh boy, he is rolling. And look at the quickness by Cena. Ooh, John Cena may have it. Oh no. Lesnar's about to end this with an F5. Bang! This one's over, guys. But now, can Lesnar... Will it be? One, two, three. An incredible win for Brock Lesnar. Well, the numbers don't always tell the story in a handicap match. Here's another look. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. That was a dominating showing where we saw the beast Brock Lesnar just annihilate his opponent. That's what Brock does best. As usual, this film